Isaiah chapter 29, verse 6, and it reads, Thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts with thunder and with earthquake and great noise, with storm and tempest and the flame of devouring fire. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh. Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash, next double honors to the head apostles slash elder bishops of great millstone, the one that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere items. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. Regardless of people here, for us, see these storms, these floods, these earthquakes, the hell storms, the violence, the chaos, the mayhem, it's being controlled and orchestrated by the God of the Bible. That's why, once again, we always quote in Hebrews, the 10th chapter, Verse 31, it is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. And this is an aerial shot, you know what I'm saying, of the storm. This is an aerial shot of Storm Milton. What do we see? We see an eye. We see some teeth. We see a nose. We see a head. This is a spirit created for vengeance, Israel. Remember, there be spirits that are created with it. And Lord willing, we're going to get that too. It, well, knowing, therefore, the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. The Lord got us. The Lord said, second address the eighth chapter, verse 50. He said, he bringing misery upon the people. Of, look, look, great misery. He says, it's going to bring great misery. So this devil, he might got, you know what I'm saying, the H-A-R-R-P machine. But we don't give this man no credit. We give all credit, all credit due to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, who you ignorantly call God and Jesus. And everybody on the face of the earth is going to put respect on the name of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, even if it costs you your life. You remember that now, especially you Israelites out there. You will eventually, eventually, eventually put respect, glorify, Honor, praise the name of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shah. Not Yah, not Yahshua, not Allah, not Buddha, not Santa Maria, not the Hindu God of Shiva, none of that nonsense. You will fear, man. Isaiah 29, 6. Just, just get as soon as I woke up, the Lord was like, Storm. That's what I want you to teach about this morning. My, that storm that I got brewing, that I got hitting hard. You saw, we, and we ain't seen nothing yet. The Lord said, "Greater evils." We ain't seen nothing. You think Helen did some? Hey, you think um that that um that flood down there, Katrina? You thought Katrina was some? The Lord said, "You ain't seen nothing yet." Shit. The Lord said, "You thought the flood was some? We haven't seen nothing yet. It's a fearful thing." And you think about some damn voting? You 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 niggas are crazy. All hell breaking loose, literally storms, wars. Anarchy, chaos, mayhem. People can't pay their rent, can't pay their light bill. But, hey, everybody harms and shit. I ain't got no job. And the only thing you think, you ain't thinking about the Lord. That's why the scripture say, woe to them, they go down to Egypt. The only thing you think about is some damn voting for, for, for the lesser of two evils. All right? But then you ask somebody, what would you rather have? Would you would you rather have um uh, H to the I to the V or would you rather have C A N C E R? And they say neither one. But you're gonna vote for the less of two evils. Just through, man. Isaiah 29 and 6. Thou should be visited of the Lord of hosts, the Lord of armies, Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. Look, men of war with thunder and with earthquake. And great noise with storm and tempest, a regular storm and a mighty storm. And the flame of devouring fire, her fires. These fires are spirits that are created for fear. That's why it's a fearful thing to fall. Let's stay, let's stay in the book of Isaiah. It truly is a fearful thing to fall. This right here, this right here is a spirit created for fear. You don't see it? E evil. You know what I'm saying? Meaning, meaning straight up bad times. I don't, don't want to get that. This is something quick about to head out, Lord willing, and get this daily bread. And we're constantly praying for the hopeful elect brothers, you know what I'm saying? And the hopeful elect sisters that's out there in the path of these different storms. You know what I'm saying? May Yahweh Baha Shem Yahweh protect you and your household. You see? 
And brothers and, and hopeful like brothers and sisters scattered throughout the four corners of the earth that may be going through any ordeal. May the Lord be with all of us. Lord's will, man. Isaiah 45 and 7. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. You got people walking around with picket um, signs and all that. So, so no justice, no peace. We want better jobs. We want this. We want that. The Lord said, if peace going to come on the earth, it ain't going to come through you damn um, marching and protesting and all that, man. It's going to come through him. And he said he creates the evil, meaning the evil, the bad times. The Lord said, I, I'm doing it. So I'm giving credit. Now, this devil might got the H-A-R-R-P machine and all that, but we don't give this devil no credit. We get credit where credit is due. We get credit to the creator, man. I just read Isaiah 29 and 6. And create evil. I, the Lord, Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. You know what I'm saying? By way of the angels, do all these things. What part of this are we not getting? What part of this are we not getting, right? Let's get this. But the Lord said his people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Because thou has rejected knowledge, he will also reject thee, man. Let's get this. This so quick. I'm, I'm extra hyped this morning, man. Amos chapter 3, verse 6 in the east, shall a trumpet be blown in the city, which represents this word being brung out, and the people not be afraid. You hear these words, you hear these lessons coming out, you're supposed to be scared, Israel. These lessons are supposed to make you, uh, pretty much we're stirring up your pure minds by way of remembrance. As the scriptures have said, hearing these lessons and seeing what's going on in the earth, and it's all according to the Bible, it's all according to the will of the Lord. It, it, should, it should put fear on you. It should make you want to repent, turn back sorrowful, remorseful, regretful for all our wrongful thoughts, sayings, and doings. Our wrongful thoughts, sayings, and doings in this life and a form of, remember, the Lord is um, punishing us less than what our iniquities deserve. That's one of my favorite scriptures. The Lord is punishing us less than what we deserve, man. All right? Each and every last one of us, the Lord is punishing us less than what we deserve. Amos chapter 3 verse 6, shall a trumpet be blown in the city? And the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil, meaning bad times in the city? And the Lord, Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh, shy. Once again, who they eagerly call God and Jesus have not done it. And remember, Israel, this land is defiled. Let's get this. Let's get that numbers right quick. Remember, this land is defiled. You can't pray it away, Israel. You pray, you pray for your families. You pray that they're protected. You know what I'm saying? Through everything that's coming down the pipeline. But you don't actually pray for this place. You don't pray for it. And all, once again, all hell break loose. And the only thing a ninja thing about is voting. Vote, voting for the lesser damn two evils. You see? And you know this place is through, you know what I'm saying? Because look at the look at the people that they put in front of you to vote for. That's how you know, that's how you know a place is through. When the only people you got to vote for, you know what I'm saying, is two evil people. <laughs> this is crazy. Now, ain't a person that believes in, in who they call God. Not a person that's doing the right thing on the face of the earth. Not, not even the people that's helping out the offsprings. No, two people that's evil as shit. That's who you voting for, man. Two demons. Numbers chapter 35, verse 33. So, but, but, but we're the crazy ones, though, right? With the, the 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 only men on the face of the earth that's teaching you the 100% truth according to the Bible, something's wrong with us, but ain't, ain't nothing wrong with these demons, man. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing wrong with these degenerates, man, that you, that you know are wicked. Numbers chapter 35, and all of them got to go. Numbers chapter 35, verse 33, and it reads, So ye shall not pollute the land wherein ye are. For blood, the Israelite blood, the so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American Indians, everybody keeps forgetting that we're living on stolen land. Everybody keeps just throw that out the window. Don't worry, don't you say that. Don't you say that. It was a long time ago. It was a long time ago. Bygones, bygones. Bygones, bygones. This stolen land, man. It's stolen land, all right? Nothing but a damn land grab. For blood, it defiles the land, and the land cannot be cleansed. Can't clean it up, man. And the blood cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein. But, but, the Lord said, but, aha, aha, but by the blood of him that shed it. So that's what the Lord is doing. The Lord going around shedding BLOOD now of the people that shed our BLOOD. That's what the Lord is doing. You don't, you don't see it that way because you love, you know what I'm saying, Babylon the Great. You love the U.S. dot A dot 
A dot A dot A. You, you love it here, man. Even though this place is put per hell on you each and every day. You, you know what I'm saying? Your granddaddy, you know what I'm saying? Your grandma, you see? Your aunts, your uncles, your cousins, everybody is getting a raw deal over here. You Israelites, everybody's getting a raw deal. You're still in the damn ghetto, you see? And the only time you see anybody come through the ghetto is voting time. They, they trick you into a vote. You know that vote don't count? Psalm chapter 30, Psalm chapter 83. Let's get this. Because this right here is a spirit. You see that eyeball? You see that teeth? Look, this is an aerial shot of the storm. This ain't no AI picture. This, are, this picture real, man. It's fake, brother. It's fake, brother. It's fake. You fake. You fake. Uh, Psalm chapter 83, verse 15. Don't, don't believe that the Lord can do anything. Uh, people ain't got faith in Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, and the Lord says he's going to bring misery upon you people. Great misery. And the Lord is known by his judgments. You see? Psalms 83, 15. So persecute them with thy, with thy tempest, which is a mighty storm. Helen was one. Katrina was one. Fucking Milton, he's one. You name it, man. The Lord got all kind of names for these storms, right? And all these names mean some. Psalm chapter 83, verse 15. So persecute them with thy tempest, which is a mighty storm. Persecute them, Lord. And make the tear everything up, Lord. Tear all this shit up, Lord. Tear it up. Throw, throw it from one side of town to the other. Do it. And make them afraid with thy storm and make them afraid with thy storm make them afraid should, remember should there be evil in the city and the Lord have done it not done it? you people will fear matter of fact, matter of fact let's, get, let's see what Habakkuk said and, and look, look they shall see oh, I'm all over the place this morning but we're going to get it in Lord one is edifying to the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel fear the Lord fear the Lord you know many times over Let's get this. So I'm quick. By the head, I'll get this daily bread, Lord's willing. Ezekiel 7, 25, destruction cometh. Destruction, man. Destruction cometh. You marching for peace. You walk around with picket signs. Some some no justice, no peace. Destruction cometh. And they shall seek peace. And there shall be none. And the scriptures say, uh, for when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction come upon them, as shall veil upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. The Lord said, they're going to build, I'm going to throw down. They're going to build, I'm going to throw down. They're going to build again. And guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to throw this shit down again. You see? This is what the Lord is saying, man. And I, 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 I want to get that. So let's get that Sirach. Let's get that Sirach 39. Sirach chapter 39. This is a true aerial shot, you know what I'm saying, of the storm, man. It's AI, brother. It's AI, brother. Shut up. Shut the hell up, man, and go watch something else, man. You see? Sirach, chapter 39, verse 28, and it reads, There be spirits that are created for vengeance. Not, not just Jeffrey Dahmer, son of Sam, um, uh, Jane, uh, uh, John Wayne Gretzky. Not, not just him. Oh, yeah, uh, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Uh, Jason, Freddy, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. So forth and so on. Check it. They ain't the only spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury, these storms are too, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. And in the time of destruction, they pour out their force. And, the, and in the time of destruction, Israel, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. Fire and hell and famine and death, all these were created for vengeance. Didn't we just read about the flame of devouring fire, the damn hail storms? The damn hurricanes, all these because starvation, whole lot of deletion, all of these were created for vengeance. Teeth of wild beasts. The Lord got brute beasts out there, you know what I'm saying? Ready to devour you, man. Ready to get down on you, man. Ready to lay on sore strokes. And scorpions and servants and the sword punishing the wicked to destruction. The spirit created for vengeance. They're waiting on the green light, man. They're, they, they're coming in in order, man. And we're living in the worst time ever known to mankind to be alive on the face of the earth. The greatest time because that great deliverance is coming. But 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 also the, the worst time because things like this is coming. And the Lord said, we ain't seen nothing yet. The Lord said, we ain't seen nothing yet. 
We better get our prayer on for real, for real. They shall rejoice, no sin, meaning the Spirit's creative events. They shall rejoice in his commandment. And they shall be ready upon earth when need is. The Lord's like, yo, your turn. Mil Helen, your turn. After that, Milton, your turn. Then after that, Stacy, your turn. Then after that, Greg, your turn. Then after that, Steve, your turn. Evils, 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 evils. You see? Wars, storms, floods, chaos, mayhem. This side of the Lord is visiting the people of the earth. They shall be ready upon, so it's like it. They shall rejoice in his commandment, and they shall be ready upon earth when need is. And when their time come, when their time is coming, the spirit created with vengeance, they shall not transgress his word. They're gonna do exactly what he commands them to do. The spirit created with vengeance is gonna say, uh-uh. Uh, I, I don't want to go through there and tell that town. You see, there's some good people there. There's some good people there. It ain't going to do all that, man. You see? It's going to go through there, tearing up everything, man. And long as the wicked bears rule, the Lord going to keep judging the earth, you know what I'm saying, with these storms, man. You see? It says, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bears rule, the people mourn. What else, Lord, before I roll out? Re remember, see seek the Lord 10 times more. Matter, matter of fact, let's stay here right quick. I want to I want to get this right here. Just stay here. Our people wait till a storm come. They wait till a flood come. And then they start crying for the Lord. But when everything was all love, love, they won't cry for the Lord. When it's water in the grocery store, when it's food in the grocery store, they ain't thinking about the Lord, but let, let the grocery store get towed to hell up. Let the lights get cut off. Let the lights get cut off. Let the Lord come through with a major storm, and then, then it's the hooping and hollering, right? Da damn actors, man. Sirach, also known as Ecclesiasticus, in the Apocrypha, chapter 5, verse 7, make no tarrying to turn to the Lord. You don't want to wait for the storm to come through. You don't want to wait for war to come through, a flood to come through, a spirit created with vengeance to come through. You don't want to wait, Israel. Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai. Why? What are you waiting on? What are you waiting You You waiting on um, a politician to help you out, right? You waiting on a lying ass politician to help you out, right? Finally, right? Finally, right? Are you serious? Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord. We, we give you the proper name of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son each and every day. Seek them, Israel, and put not off from day to day. For suddenly, when you least suspect, the Lord gonna go oops upside your damn head. For suddenly, shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. And in thy security, when it's all lovey dovey, you comfortable. That's why Elder Apostle Gabar said through the Spirit, get comfortable with being uncomfortable. Did, did you hear that? Get comfortable with being uncomfortable. Because in thy security, thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. Remember, Israel, it's a it truly is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power, man. It, it, it truly is. The Lord is persecuting these people with these storms, man. He's making them very afraid, man. You see? They have nine feet of water and shit. I, th I think I think they said um Hurricane Katrina was like damn near twenty feet of water, man. What you what the hell are you gonna do with twenty feet of water? And the Lord says something worse than that is coming. The Lord just pretty much torn with you right now. You see, look, the Lord gonna rip this place apart. And I want to bring out this last one because I I got the roll. I got the roll. The second edge shot the fourteen. Second edge shot the fourteen. Hell no, I might bring out one more after this. Second Andrew chapter 14, verse 16, it reads, For yet greater evils, meaning bad times. The Lord said, We ain't seen that, nothing yet. Greater evils, man. Greater bad times. Whole lot of deletion, deleted bodies every damn well, man. Just stinking. For, ye, for yet greater evils than those which thou hast seen happen shall be done hereafter. Let us repent, Israel. Let us repent. Turn back sorrowful, remorseful, regretful for all our wrongful thoughts, sins, and doings in this life and our former life. Let's beg the Lord for mercy right now. Beg him for mercy right now. Don't wait. For look how much more the world shall be weaker through age. So much the more shall evils, meaning bad times, increase upon them that dwell therein, man. And I got one more. No, I'm, I'm, I got I to I roll. For real, for real, I got to roll. It's so, it's so much that I could bring out, man. Everything is happening. The Lord said it was every, everything is having a domino effect. Second Andrew chapter 16, 
Just one quick verse. Second Ezra 16. Matter of fact, I read 17. Second Ezra 16, 17. Woe is me, destruction. Woe is me, destruction. Who will deliver me in those days and these days? As we've seen these times. And he says, woe if I don't get delivered. Woe if I don't get delivered, man. The beginning of sorrows and great mourning. But oh yeah, this, this book ain't real. This book ain't real. Still believing in damn Egyptology shit. You got Israelites walking around telling some somebody Mormons and all this madness, man. All right. The beginning of sorrows and great mourning, the beginning of famine and great death. Still got the Israelite woman still running her damn mouth with all these storms. That's what I'm saying. They don't see these storms going forth. You, they don't see the evils. They don't see the Lord destroying them efforts. Still running their damn mouth. Still walking around, I don't believe this. And I don't believe if it was a God, why he let this happen? And if it was and if it is a God, why he let that happen? The beginning of sorrows and great mourning, the beginning of famine and great death, the beginning of wars and the power shall stand in fear, the beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come? Seek the Lord like you've been doing. Evils and only evils. Doom and gloom. Doom and gloom. Doom and gloom. Should there be evil in the city and the Lord have not done it? Shalom.